So this is a clarification regarding the matrix multiple response scoring, how that scoring is done. And this is the example we have used. So in this one, you know, this is the correct answers. But let's say if somebody is answering like this, um, instead of the only correct answer, they chose some extra ones. So in this case, the scoring is going to be each column. So let's say for in this example, because this is the correct answer, but this was the wrong one, like this is a wrong answer they have chosen, right? And they have uh, probably chose another one here. This is also wrong. So two wrong answers, but this one was right. So there is a negative one and a negative one for this, even though there is a one here, when you calculate together, it will be zero because the total, even though they got a positive one here, you know, they canceled out and there is another negative one and we don't give negative marks. If it is negative, then the total is going to be always zero. So this column, this column, the total this person is getting is zero points. And the same here too. This is the right answer, but this was the wrong answer. This was the wrong answer. So minus one, minus one and plus one. Here also in this column, they will end up having zero. But here, because they had all the right answers, they will get one, two, three, four, five. So five points. Okay, so the uh, they will end up having, they could get total seven points because one, two, and five, they could get total seven points. But in this case, they will end up having only five because they answered some wrong ones in between. So that's how the matrix multiple response scoring goes. So it is each column gets scored first and then you sum it up. Just wanted to make sure that the clarification is clear.